Hello guys, how are you? I believe that your exam went well. So th those who have given the Maharashtra PSC exam, we are discussing and having a good analysis today, which is being uh, discussed, already discussed by the experts. So here was today, the 8th April, today we had an exam. If you look into the observations, first of all, this year paper was a bit like the previous year ones. Uh, we had a mixed bag of conventional subjects as well as the current affairs. Secondly, it had easy to moderate level of questions in major all the most all the sections. Thirdly, the uh, questions where it was difficult were in general sciences and environment and ecology part. And for example, the question on Girogel mental, the max, the question asking on the maximum yield of ATP and the disease of copper deficiency in trees. But, but if you see, if you look into quality questions, they were somewhat easy scoring and they were directly from the standard textbooks such as Lakshmikan book or maybe Subhash Kashya book. So this section must have proved to be scoring for you guys who have given the exam today. For example, the question on zero R, the Panchayats, Panchayats Act in the scheduled areas and the PESA Act. However, the economy questions, they were very largely conceptual and they required application of theories. For example, the question on inflation, the question on poverty, they were, they demanded some conceptual understanding of these basic concepts. Now coming on to history, the questions were of moderate level. It had almost equal questions from all the three major parts of history. That is ancient India, medieval India and modern India. Now coming to geography, it had a tilt towards physical geography, which if you guys had read the basic NCRT books, it would have been very scoring for you people. Now, coming to the current affairs portion, the exam asked about a few schemes such as Bharatnet project, the Sumit by uh, Udyogini Mahila, Sakshamikar and Yojana, and the questions asking the names of the chairman of the 15 Finance Commission, which is N.K. Singh, uh, asking about the Dhirendra Pal Singh, who was the chairman of UGC, and the Paraton Per, which came between 5th to 27th October. All these news, they were in the last few months had come in the major newspapers. Maybe it was the Times of India, maybe it the uh, Telegraph or the Hindu newspaper. So this might have been uh, the easiest questions in the exam and scoring. Uh, so now coming to the comparison between the last this year's and the last year question paper, we can say that it was a very balanced question paper. The paper actually look, does not look as simple as it may see from the first sight of the question paper. But there were tricky questions and they were from areas which required comprehensive study of all the topics of the general studies. But overall, it was a nice paper which gave equal opportunities to the graduates from all the fields, maybe from the sciences, from the commerce stream or the humanities stream. So, so the coming to the next major thing that the what would be the cutoff of the exam which you would be expecting from our experts. So our, according to our experts, uh, they say that the cutoff might be for the general open category would be around 210 plus minus 5 and uh, for the female general category would be 180 something and for the sports person would be 155 and something. The other categories have been given in our website newstencil.com this the cutoff might go a bit high because this time the vacancies of the Maharashtra is only 69 whereas the previous year was 155. So thank you for that. All the best for your score and all the best for mains examination. Thank you.